In this video we are going to have a look at a package of the latest release week. This package is called Avatars and it offers us an avatar widget that uses the best available data source among those we provided. This is also called a priority and fallback system that allows you to specify multiple image sources like Facebook, Instagram, GitHub and Gravatar but also custom providers can be used like assets and images from the network. And besides, it is also possible to use simple text like the name initials or any custom values. That's just a brief overview. Let's see how this whole thing looks in the implementation. Here we are inside the pubspec yaml file. I created a new project and added the dependencies. And as you can see, we have a simple app material app consisting of a scaffold and inside of the body we have a center widget with a column which is also centered and then we have this avatar widget. Let's have a look at the properties of this avatar widget. You can see the first one is called name and here I just entered my first name twice and as you can see we get the initials and if we just provide one name then I have to refresh this. I don't know why my hot reload um, is not working but yeah as you can see we now have one letter so you can use your last name and forename in order to display the initials if you don't want to provide an image. Next we have some color properties. We have background color. This is only shown whenever we are loading an image so I can demonstrate it if I just restart this app. Then we are loading an image and the color is black. Now it's our image and if we don't have any image then of course the placeholder colors will be displayed instead of the image. Then we have shadow color which is only displayed if we have some elevation. So I set it to 5 and let's restart the app and now you can see this light shadow effect. We can also set a shape either a circular or a rectangular. Let's set a rectangular because we already have a circular and save this and restart the app. And now the avatar is rectangular. We can also set a border. This is self-explanatory. We can also customize the loading animation by setting the loader. In this case we have a center widget with a circular progress indicator and this will be shown whenever our images or image is loading. To define your image sources you can use the sources attribute. In this case we are providing a network source which fetches data from the website. This person does not exist. This is a website that generates persons that don't exist. And if I save this and reload this app, then you can see it's loading and then it shows our avatar. And if we want to use our GitHub profile picture instead, then of course we can also use GitHub source and then just enter the name of your profile or of your account, save and reload it. And here we can see a picture of mine from my GitHub profile. You can also use Instagram source, Gravatar source, Facebook source or generic source. You can use multiple sources and as I already said, it uses the image source which is best available. Last but not least we have use cache. This is on false by default and if we set this to true then our images are cached. So here we can see I have my GitHub source active and if we download this image then let's have a look how long it takes. Okay and now I activate use cache and load the image once again. And as we can see this was a little bit faster than the first time. This was a quick overview of the package avatars. I really like this package and if you like it too and want to use it, make sure to hit the like button on the documentation page and also go to the GitHub repository and give this project a star. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are new to my channel and want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you like this kind of short review of packages, leave me a like or tell me in the comments. I wish you a wonderful week and see you soon.